Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akamane101 and welcome to the Crisis 3 Open Beta. The Crisis 3 Open Beta that you are seeing today is the PC edition of course, my favorite edition of all time. And for some odd reason at the top left of the screen you can see that my DX Tori uh, numbers were actually recording in video, so I do apologize for that. Nothing I can really do about that other than black it out, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. And I'm pretty sure guys you don't really mind that too much. Uh, anyway, though, if you guys want to know the system requirements, you can go to the Steam, or the Origin Store, excuse me, where you can go and pick it up under Demos, and it will tell you the minimum system requirements. It's actually ridiculously good requirements. Uh, all you need is a 2.8 GHz uh, CPU. That's the minimum requirement, and I'm playing this on Ultra right now. I think I have Shadows on High, because I know Shadows can really lag a game, and I haven't really tried messing around with making them uh, anymore. But I'm, I'm playing the game at 90 to 100 frames per second, as you can see right now, uh, with no real major frame drops or anything like that. Actually, this game runs buttery smooth on my machine, which is extremely shocking, since Crisis 2 was also running fairly nicely until they released the uh, HD pack and DirectX 11. And for some odd reason, DirectX 11 wasn't working so well on Crisis 2 for my machine. Uh, maybe that's just my graphics card. Uh, maybe that's my CPU. Probably my CPU because it's not very fast, but uh, I digress. Anyway, this is Hunter mode. This is probably one of my favorite modes that they've added to the game, that Crytek has added to the game. It is basically a mode where you play Predator or you play Prey. And the Prey, of course, is the Cell Operatives. We're playing a Cell Operative right now. You literally get nothing. You're basically like the normal guys that you fight in the Crisis 2 when you were fighting those just random dudes out there. Uh, they don't get any armor or stealth abilities. However, the Hunters, they get an insta-kill bow. Uh, as well as infinite invisibility, but there only starts with two hunters, and as the hunters kill enemies, uh, and as you can see on the top right of the screen there, right, right when I get killed, of course, uh, whenever you see those red heads start to appear, that's how many on your side is now dead. Uh, however, when you're on the hunter's side, you, you want that to be all white, because that means that everyone's becoming hunters. Uh, so yes, it's, it's basically like Halo Reach and Halo 4's um, interpretation of zombie mode, I guess. Or, what is it, flood mode nowadays? Yeah, flood mode. However, this this is by far the best, like, zombie flood mode I've ever played in my life. Like, just look at this shit right here. <laughs> just going right in there, shooting them in the face. There's a third kill right there. Oh, can I pull off the fourth one? Yep. There we go. I love it. I love the bow. It feels so good. And it also, it, the damage that you do is dependent on how far back you pull back the bow. What kind of first person shooter adds that into a game? Crytek does, because they love detail, and that's freaking awesome. I, I used to do archery myself in real life, and that was with a uh, recurve bow. But this bow feels awesome. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, I might add, and it feels great because there's vibrations and stuff, so you can really feel the power that goes behind each attack. Try adding vibration into keyboards, guys. Come on. Gotta add that shit. Uh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It's, it's, you gotta, you gotta try out the, uh, the bow and arrows. Even on keyboard and mouse, it's really cool. Uh, basically, how the how the bow works is that the further you you have your character pull it back, and it's just it's just natural. It's all normal. You don't have to like press certain buttons like Q to pull it back halfway and E to pull it back further. Um, it, you just pulled, you just press the left mouse button or the right trigger, and the bow, uh, depending on how far back it was pulled before you release the the arrow. Uh, depends on how much damage you're going to do, which is extremely cool. And that's how a composite bow would work. The fur further back you would pull it, uh, up to the maximum, uh, the more damage it's going to do. And so that that is awesome. So thank you, Crytek, for adding such a cool weapon in the game. If you don't know me, I am a huge fan of bows. I love bows. Like, I, I use them in every game. In and Resident Evil 5, I... I love Shiva because she just uses a bow and it doesn't even the bow doesn't even have lasers on it Okay, it doesn't even have laser sighting and if you know Resident Evil It's all about laser sighting unless you play Resident Evil 6, but shut up about Resident Evil 6 There's Resident Evil 5 baby and no there's no there's no laser so right away I'm like I get a cursor. This is so easy, you know, so I love that. I love it so much this game this game 
seriously just hit the, the, the highest of the high of good games just because of the ability to use a bow. Uh, so that's why I was really excited when I when I first saw the cover art with uh, with what's his face Prophet. Uh, are we playing as Prophet now? I guess he has a different name, but he's he's just some dead guy in his suit. So oh, spoiler, I guess. Um, walking around, but yeah, see when he had a bow, perfect. Anyway, I probably should talk about the actual game itself. So yes, Hunter mode. Uh, as a cell operative, a lot of people don't realize this, but if you just hide, they're not gonna find you. Uh, even though they have your you're you sensed on the map they can literally see you on their do, uh, bottom left of the screen they can see where you are but it's really not a big deal as you can see i can hear when they're near and as long as i have a shotgun and i'm in close quarters when i am not in the open i'm gonna be just fine and a lot of people do not do not go into close corridors and I just go, thank you, because you're you're the cannon fodder. You're the reason why I'm living, because everyone else loves to stick together and be in the most open place ever. It's like having to get a house that can fit a hundred people and they and they just put them in an open barn. And there's like let's let's just go into an open barn that you can have a million vantage points for and below the barn is a sewer pipe and I'm hiding in the sewer pipe so no one can see me. That's how crazy that is. So yes, everyone indirectly is making it making my life easier. Look at that. Did you, did you guys just see the thousand men that were like right over there? I don't even know why they do it, but it's quite funny. Of course I have the muted and of course I don't have friends. So I I <laughs> I don't I don't actually uh, have any communication with anyone here. However, I will be playing this with Final Sliver and hopefully uh, Umbra 2614. Of course you know him uh, from previous videos. Uh, at least I, I think you know him. Uh, anyway, that that right there kind of sucked. If you if you see the kill cam here, which unfortunately you actually have to watch the kill cams. I don't know why that is. That's it's kind of Punching in the face, but as you saw here, uh, as you saw there, his bow was already drawn. Uh, I would like to say that I I actually botched it as a hunter. Uh, I think during this match, the the beginning of this match was basically a one hit wonder. I did four kills in a row, died, and then that was pretty much it. I'm not I wasn't the the greatest hunter here, but I have a vi I have a video of another uh, really good hunter run that I did before. Uh, it literally brought me into first place because of it. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, definitely the coolest thing ever. And I just whacked that guy in the face. Oh man, that was good, man. Okay, this game is just so good. You guys gotta try this. I I'm downright saying go to Origin. Or even if you have Xbox 360. I don't know if the Xbox guys are actually just getting the free beta uh, right away or not. But if you do have access to it, or the PS3 guys, you get the game. Even though... Uh, unless you have a good PC, please get this game for PC. Do it. Do yourself a favor. Get the game for PC because it, the the consoles hold this game back. If you've ever looked at a Crytek game uh, and don't realize that they were the ones that originally made the first Far Cry, and then don't realize that they were the ones that originally made the first Crisis, then you haven't lived because those were originally PC games. So. Yeah, that's that's a cool thing about it. Crytek is one for making beautiful games, and ever since Crisis One, they just went nuts and made their games optimized like shit, and the opposite of shit actually. They made them optimized amazingly well. <laughs> it works so well; it's like buttery smooth. If you look at the top left of the screen, like I said, I have a over 140 frames per second in the sewer pipes with water effects on maximum. On graphics, on maximum, shader quality, particle effects, everything. I mean, even in the most high-octane battles, I think I'm above 80 frames per second. That is unreal. I love it. It's like they optimize it for AMD, even though it's NVIDIA, but... Yeah. Um, there is also 3D options for this game if you have an NVIDIA card, so you definitely should check the, the 3D options out if you have a 3D TV. I really wish I could check them out because I know Crytek is ridiculous with their 3D options and they're awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I have an AMD graphics card and I am not going out of my way to change that graphics card because I, I spent a lot of money on that graphics card. It's, it's a good graphics card. Uh, oh, man. This game is so good, though. And look, look, I have legs. I have legs in this game. Isn't that like the best thing ever to, to actually find out that you have legs in a video game? I, I, I personally think that's awesome. 
Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm pretty much just covering for the fact that I am hiding in the sewers throughout the mo majority of this battle, and I'm getting the most points in the world. Uh, I think I did about 5 to 10 games, and I am level 10. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's how awesome this is. And it's a really easy to record game. Unfortunately, I can't do 1080p because uh, my CPU is too slow. Uh, I do want to get a faster hard drive. I do want to get a faster CPU uh, for recording. I know the SSD is not good for uh, writing, so I'm not going to get SSD unless I want to just use it for playing games, uh, which would be a good idea. I think I might get like a 300 meg or 300 gig uh, SSD card or hard drive if I can. That's really really fast and throw games on there. Anyway, I believe that was everything on this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, Hunter mode was awesome. And I'm going to be getting more Hunter Mode videos on this channel because I love Crytek, I love Crisis, it's almost my birthday, and I love that they released this like two days before my birthday. So, there you go, first place, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy these highlights. <laughs>